We've got two more fights till our intermission. Put your hands together for your next fighter, George Chamez in the blue corner. Making his amateur debut tonight out of two knuckle sports, George Chamez fighting out of Surprise, Arizona. I had an opportunity to speak to George last night after weigh-ins, and you know, he's just excited to get in there, excited to showcase his skills. Didn't want to give too much up about his game plan, but uh, I'm sure we'll see all the skills on display Ladies here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for his opponent, Evan Harrison, in the red corner. And fighting out of Ultimate Combat Fitness, Evan Harrison making his walk for his PFA debut. Coming into his, this fight, he's 0-1, looking to get into the winner's column. And I spoke to Evan yesterday, so really comfortable weighing in at his home gym at UKF and is uh, really just looking to showcase the skills that he's worked on since the last time he stepped in there. Ladies and gentlemen, your seventh bout of the evening takes place in the super welterweight division as K-1 rules and is scheduled for three two-minute rounds. In the blue corner, making his amateur debut with an official weight of 148.7 pounds, fighting out of two knuckle sports in Surprise, Arizona, introducing George Numra Chavez. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, hoping for his first win here today. With an official weight of 145.6 pounds, fighting out of UKF Gym in Mesa, Arizona, presenting Evan Dirt Harrison! George Chavez versus Evan Dirt Harrison going down in our 150 pound division. There's the bell, the ref signals, and we are underway here for our seventh bout of the evening. Hands high for Harrison. Good low kick there from Chavez early on. Evan Harrison, chin up in the air, throwing those punches. Good body kick on Chamis, popping back the chin of Evan Harrison, and he is seen to go for a little bit of a clinch there over the back. Reset by the ref, we're back underway. Good punches there from Chamis. Evan looking a little skittish in his footwork here. Not quite picking uh, the right times to enter, and Chalmers punishing him with good counter strikes for it. Oh, big right hand from Chalmers. Harrison returns, teep kick. It's interesting. Harrison almost swipes with his jab and throws his overhand directly over the top. Almost looking to land on the top of the head of Chalmers. Oh, and a good right hand from Chalmers. Returned by Harrison. These boys are throwing. Harrison almost throwing pawing strikes out there, and he eats a big shot there from Chamas. Chamas into the corner, looking to put some more work in, and separated by the referee. We are reset here, nearing the end of round number one. Great action thus far. And Harrison, he's got to keep those hands up in those exchanges. He continues to eat that right hand from Chamas. And a big shot landed from Harrison. Swings over the top, grabs the clinch, throws a knee, but once again, Brett broken up by the referee. Just over 10 seconds remaining here in round number one. Big overhand and landed by Chamas. He has Harrison hurt here. Two big shots and another one. He's looking to get him out of here before the end of round number one. Head kick from Harrison and tremendous action to finish off our first round of bout number seven here at PFA 6. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a food truck outside. If you're hungry and you want to get some food, we got a food truck outside. We are also having an intermission here after fight number eight, so that would be a great time, or even now if you're hungry. Thank you. 
after one round. Not much to separate these two young men on the scorecards. Both landed some good shots. Both had their moments in round one. Got to think there's a lot to fight for left in rounds two and three as the corners give the instruction to their young fighters. And we are just about ready for round number two. And we are underway here for round number two here between Evan Harrison and George Chamez. Oh, massive right hand from Chamez. Harrison, it's got to be more defensively responsible moving forward. He keeps leaving his chin up in the air, ready to get smacked by Chamez. And Chamez putting together some strikes. Harrison looking wobbled in the corner. Chamez letting loose with the strikes. Chamez looking to establish his momentum. Entering round number two here. Harrison pawing with that jab. And another big overhand right landed from Chamez. And Harrison just is struggling getting his base underneath him as he strikes. Kind of lunging forward and pawing with these punches. Chamez staying composed and landing the better, more technical strikes. Although Harrison with some unorthodoxy to his strikes, definitely landing here as well. George Chamis looking down his opponent. He's done some tremendous work here, but I would love to see him work that jab a little bit. He's throwing a lot of power shots, but that jab, double jab will really open up some opportunities. Oh, and he staggers him with another right hand. Grabs the clinch, throws a knee, and the ref separates once again. Chamez in full control in round number two here. Harrison showing major signs of fatigue here. Strikes looking slower. Chamez still on his horse, moving well, looking to counter. Ten seconds remaining in the round. Chamez grabs the overtime. Big combination kick from Harrison and we will enter round number three. Chamas really ran away with that round number two. Gotta think that it is his fight to lose entering round number three here. The combination punching, the low kicks, great, great right hand. Chamas in control and for Harrison, he's gotta work that jab, gotta close that space, you know. I'm not liking how he is leaving his chin up in the air when he's throwing those strikes. So really tuck that chin. Get ready to go to war because he's going to need to finish if he wants to pull this fight out. And we are underway here for round number three between George Thomas, who immediately puts the pressure on Evan Harrison. Harrison looking to push the pace, but Chalmers having none of that. Finding a clinch. Ref resets, and we're back underway. Big looping strikes from Harrison, and he lands a strong right hand there. Chalmers steps back and resets. It's like he might have been complaining about the back of the head there, but it looks clean from the referee's perspective. Good feints there. Oh, Chalmers eats a right hand on the jaw. Starting to overswing. You could think the fatigue might be setting in a little bit here. Both men have had a tremendous output in these two rounds. Reset from the ref. Oh, and Chamez pouring it on here. Late in round number three. Harrison with his chin in the air. Tremendous work on the counter by Chamas. <laughs> and 
and I am pleased to be joined here in this third round by ASAP Network's own Josh Sedgwick. How are you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good, man. About yourself? I am doing well. Some tremendous action throughout the night here, and as I'm saying that, these boys trading right hands oh. on the jaw. Man, this fight, I didn't expect this one to be such a banger. George has been coming in hot, high yeah. pressure, but Evan has just not been giving in. Oh. A little lacking on the defense, but if you like some offense, this was the fight for you. These boys trading shots on the chin, and we managed to somehow find our way to a decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely looking at this fight, I would have to say Evan he came to this 0-1. He definitely had a lot to put on here, and he definitely struggled keeping that guard up, as you said. So, George, he was able to connect with a lot of big shots. You know, the theme of this fight, we like to say a lot in striking, you want to be first and third. You want to land the first, you might take one the second, but if you're landing third, you're still getting two out of three strikes in exchange. I think that's what Chalmers was doing tonight. Evan, you know, he'd throw, Evan would try to return, then he would just catch him with that right hand, yep. and that was the story through all three rounds, and I think that's going to lead to a decision victory for him tonight. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. So who would you say so far in the night? Because, I mean, I have to get it to P.J. Jordan with that knockout Ladies finish. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, Let's get to that right after the official decision here from Ryan the Herald Holland. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges have reached a decision. All three judges have scored this fight 30 to 27 for your winner by unanimous decision out of the blue corner. Sports continues their stellar night here at the PFA with another victory for their gym. You hear the faithful getting loud there in support of George Thomas.